Hello friends, welcome back. Today I am playing with salt dough and I've got three different ideas for you to use for fall for your salt dough. And this was leftover dough that I had used in my last video and uh, it's just a basic salt dough recipe. I put saran wrap over the top of it so it's a little easier with less sticking to roll out because I don't want to use a lot of flour. And I'm just going to roll it out and then I'm gonna choose some cookie cutters, my fall cookie cutters that I like, lots of leaves and maybe some acorns because I think that's my theme this year, acorns and leaves. So I choose some cookie cutters and I'm actually gonna show you guys two different ways to do this. First, you can go out and get a leaf from your yard. I used a maple leaf and roll it on there to get the lines in there and then you can either cut it out with a knife or use a cookie cutter. However, the method that I prefer is just to use a cookie cutter and cut it out and then cut the lines in with a knife. Okay, I have to tell you, this craft that I'm doing here, I got the idea off of a Pier 1 ad that I seen, and I, it was a charger, and I thought, well, I could make that. So I'll insert a photo of the actual Pier 1 charger at the end of the video next to mine so you can see it. I think it turns out great. So we have to wait till you get to the end of the video to see that. <laughs> okay, so I throw those in the oven at 200 degrees and let those bake. And then I was gonna roll this out again and then I thought, no, I'm going to grab one of these carvable Dollar Tree pumpkins. I've got a bunch of them. And I'm going to make a face on it. So everyone's always carving their pumpkins and kids love to do that. This is actually a really fun kid project. So if you're looking for something with salt dough for your kids, this is really fun. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a face on my pumpkin with my dough. And I'm gonna make a nose here and I'll move on to my eyes and mouth. The only thing that you wanna remember when doing this is you wanna press in the sides so it looks like it blends into the pumpkin. It's not just sitting on top, which it is right now. But you'll see here, I'm gonna start pressing it in. Um, making an eyebrow uh, muscle, I guess, here, the top of the eye. And I'm pressing it into the side so it kind of blends into the pumpkin and it's not just sitting on top. And I also want it to blend into the nose as well. I want everything to blend together. So yeah, um, this totally reminds me of a college course that I took in ceramics. So it was just very fun to make something like this. And like I said, this is a great kid project to create a face with dough. And obviously you can't put this in the oven, so you're just gonna let it air dry and then you can paint it or do whatever you want with it. Something else to keep in mind, I just added flour to my hands. The dough wants to stick to your hands. You wanna have flour there to put on your hands. Um, it's gonna make it a lot easier to stick to the pumpkin if it's not sticking to your hands. <laughs> So what I'm doing here is just showing you an option. You could have like cat ears or horns or actual ears or cheek muscle like smile lines. Um, I'm just gonna choose to do a stem, like a curly stem and add that on there. And the very last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my knife to open up his nose a little bit and look like make it look like his nose is a little bit more realistic. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, there he is. And like I said, you'd want to dry him. For the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna go ahead and spray paint him all white. You could do any color, you could do him orange, like repaint him orange and then get crazy with the decorations on him. Um, but I just did white. And next I'm gonna use these glass bowls, they're small. And I'm gonna use some more leaf cookie cutters. And I thought about using a bigger size, but I really wanted something small. So you guys do what size and shape you like. I'm just giving you an idea from my own stuff that I'm doing here. So um, I just did the cookie cutter again and used the knife as um, to draw my lines in, just like I did before and I'm just gonna lay it across the bottom of that bowl upside down as a mold. So like I said, if you guys want more leaves to actually cover the entire bowl, then that would be absolutely beautiful. Um, I'm wanting something just really small and simple, like small enough for just a single votive or maybe even like a tea light. So that's why I'm doing this. Um, but yeah, you could do more and do bigger, like big bowls. So, but yeah, you could completely get elaborate with this. But I'm just gonna do these and I'm gonna stick those in the oven. Okay, so my first batch of leaves have came out of the oven, so it's perfect timing for me to put these in. Same temperature and um, I grabbed one of the gold Dollar Tree chargers. So what I'm gonna do with these leaves is I'm gonna hot glue them all around the edge of this charger. And I also used some acorns and rolled some little tiny balls to look like berries and kind of grouped them in threes together and put them randomly in there. So it's leaves, acorns, and berries and my little candle holders have came out so i'm just going to go ahead and spray those and my charger gold so you guys could choose what color you wanted but i also wanted to show you my inspiration this is the pier one version so this is what inspired me and i thought well i can make that so this is how everything turns out i love my little tea light candles these are gonna go on my Thanksgiving table, kind of just spread out. I think they're perfect. I love how small they are and dainty. And here's how my charger turned out. I think it's just as beautiful as the Pier One Inspiration. So anyway, hope you guys like these DIYs. And of course, I hope you're having a great day. So I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.